Hello everyone, welcome all of you to this Hall of Fame series and today I have Gauri and MG with me. They are proud grandparents of two, one a four, a four year old and a four month old. So today I have MG and Gauri with me and they have achieved uh, a successful feat uh, where uh, Gauri lost um, Gauri lost 10 kgs in three months and MG lost 12 kgs in three months. So, so that has been their feat. However, it, that is not the end, in, uh, end of the journey. That was probably just the beginning of MG and Gauri's successful fitness journey. And we are going to learn more about it from MG and Gauri. So over to MG and Gauri. Uh, would you, you know, how would you like to introduce yourself? I give a small one, Gauri. And if you want to tell a little bit more about yourself to the audience, why don't you do that? In fact, you were very apt when you said that we are very proud grandparents. Uh, I, we just came back from, uh, you know, the US and leaving, a, you know, our hearts were heavy, leaving those two grandchildren behind. And but we came back with a lot of wonderful memories. I am, of course, that's, that's what I like most to call myself a proud and happy grandma. Yes, years back, I was teaching high school, a bunch of high school kids for 15 years, enjoyed that experience too. And now we are having a good time currently taking care of two elders, that's MG's parents, and we are based out of Chennai. Wonderful, wonderful, great, great. And how about you, MG? How would you yeah. like to? Yeah. I have been a kind of a workaholic all my life from school days, then uh, in during my railway career of 22 years, then uh, in the IT field, the corporate world. And as CIO for six years for a billion dollar IT services company. And now, of course, I'm a leadership coach, but nothing, nothing better than playing that role of not only proud grandparents, young grandparents. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to hear that. I grandparents. Yeah. Young I'm, and fit grandparents. And I'm fit, not fit, not because of us, Gauri. That goes to her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, thank you so much. And that is what is going to be today's uh, journey or, or, you know, today's discussion also about where I want to learn from you and understand from you how you were able to do that. Because, you know, as we grow in age, what people say is, oh, yeah. You know, that is the usual thing. But what I saw in you is that uh, is that energy, that inspiration to be fit for your grandparents. And I remember when you were traveling uh, for the second grand, uh, grandchild of yours, uh, how excited you were and, uh, you know, and all of that, uh, all of that has come together in you know, in giving you this happiness that you have today. So thank you so much. So before we get there, Gauri and MG, can you tell us what, uh, when you started, what were your goals? Uh, with which you started this journey. Can I go first, story? Sure. See, uh, between both of us, how did we decide to jump in with Navite was, I saw an advertisement in Indra Nagar Club. Bangalore. Something in that advertisement made me feel, hey, this is genuine stuff. I've seen so many of those. Before that, we have joined a few other programs and, you know, weight loss, started swallowing all kind of things and nothing happened. Um, this was one honest one which did not say you lose weight like magic. No problem. You join me day after tomorrow. So we, I, I gave a call and it was probably either you or Ribi who took that phone and, and unfortunately I couldn't attend that program because Gauri was abroad at that time. So when she came back, we decided we will actually go and meet the source. And, you know, with some trepidation, we came to your office one day, first time. Um, I don't know whether I should give you credit or uh, it was a wise decision of ours. We could be <laughs> one of them. It could be really you, MG. <laughs> See, you know, you spoke to us for five minutes, 10 minutes and asked us the same question. What do you want to do? What is your goal? Till then, I didn't have a goal in my mind. I just, we wanted to reduce weight. We wanted to look better a little bit, but asked specific thing like, what's your goal? Uh, that probably fixed the whole thing. Like, and I took an audacious, uh, maybe five to 10 kgs. And I remember you saying, no, no, five or 10. Oh, then I was 85. And then I said, why not? Let's do 75. 
I was a little more careful. I said, oh my God, I don't want to be this rash. Let me say five kgs less. First. I remember that. She <laughs> said, give us a slightly so, subdued goal. Right? I was close to 17, uh, 70. So I said, okay, let me get to 65 and then we'll see from there. So, so the goals was the thing which got us. Uh, and the next minute I said, okay, I'm enrolling for this program. Okay. And we signed up and uh, I don't know what happened after that. The first week was a little bit of uh, the food portion was the adjusting period. Yes. I would say the kind of teething yes. period yes. as I would call it. Absolutely. And uh, what I should tell uh, here, bring to everyone's notice is that for us, I guess we were lucky because this, coincided so much with the first lockdown, you know, with the Corona period. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, I remember the lockdown started last year on May, March 22nd. And I think we started our program on the 28th or so. I'm not too clear about the date. Just about that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it sort of worked out so well for us. It worked out well, not just how COVID was correct, yes. But it also happened the first big week of month. When it came to the big problem of the food, right? Like, mm. the, like for me, I'm a rabid coffee drinker. And remember, I negotiated with you, Ruma. I said, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. When can I have my first glass of beer and go back to my single malt whiskey? You said, wait, we'll talk about it one month later. Not now, one month later. I said, okay. She did not <laughs> say, never. You know, that was a <laughs> huge motivation. I said, all right, one month. So, you know, that one month, uh, tightening up, no rice, no coffee was the toughest portion. Mm. But then, what, what was so easy was, we didn't realize it was not that difficult when you substituted rice with millets and then vegetables, you said, go ahead and eat what you want. Salad, you eat what you want. I remember first week, the fruits were cut out too. But... No, that was later. Later, is that? Right? Okay, I don't remember. But yeah. then... Third, fourth week onwards, eggs came in, and then chicken came in, and come on, have a heart, man. I thought, oh, this is this is lovely dieting. And <laughs> I would say the challenge regarding food was more that the first two weeks we were, I felt we were eating all the time. I yeah. said, my God, I've never eaten so, so much, much in my life. You know, every two hours you're cutting something, or you know, you're rustling up something. I said. And by five in the evening, I said, I can't have dinner. You know, this is getting too much. Yeah. <laughs> But then the exercises, uh, the routine itself of uh, this alternate week, alternate day, uh, cardiac and uh, cardio and uh, strength. Workout, that was beautiful because if you, but by the way, you know, first three months, we never missed a single workout. Yes. Yes. No Wednesday workout going to Thursday. No, no, no. And applaud both of you for that. Not only three months, uh, mm. MD, we continued that till about end of last year. End of last year, yeah. We were we were very compliant and, you know. No, because we wanted to give it the best shot. We didn't want to give rumor an excuse that, look, you guys didn't do it properly. That's why nothing happened. Okay. Right. Oh, boy. And after the first month when I dropped five kgs, I said, wait a minute. This is getting <laughs> good, man. And before you can say Jack Robinson, you and I were negotiating. Hey, wait, why at 75? You're supposed to be at 73 for BMI. I said, am I have really having this discussion <laughs> with my trainer between 75 and 73? I was 87. Hello. <laughs> yes, sorry, Ravu, what happened to me was yeah. at the end of first month, I lose four and a half kilos. And my goal I had set with Ruma only for five kg drop. I right? I'm shifting the goalpost now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I can see a little bit longer. Absolutely. But then MG and Gauri, the, the, you reached, you know, by the time, by the end of three months, you had already hit your goal, right? And how did your journey unfold after that? You know, you have, you know, that three months went over long back. Right, and you have continued to maintain your fitness. Uh, you've continued to exercise with us, uh, and all of that. So, just tell us a little bit more about that. You know, despite uh, having yeah, I, I would put it this way. Uh, see, the difficult thing was not knowing what uh, the the easy thing was knowing what are the right thing to do. You told us the easy thing. Yeah. The, the difficult thing was to habitualize it. 
see to make it a habit and then start actually getting a pain that if you don't do an exercise today you feel felt incomplete i would say that happened because of navity in the sense that uh, application the relentless chasings you know you miss one exercise somebody is calling you and telling hey what happened nj are you well are you okay now wait a minute we didn't want that <laughs> also what used to happen is since we both had joined together yeah. you know kind of we we sort of uh, you know we we took care of each other in the yeah. sense if one was you know yeah. tending to slack and the other said no 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 come come let's do it you know so that way there was a kind of uh, competition also yeah but that was remember... 80% 20 you, most of the time i was tightening you right you are not threatening me right okay i i won't say anything i won't say anything i leave all of you guessing <laughs> absolutely i you and i know better right gauri better right. shut up <laughs> and just let i am <laughs> <laughs> i must i must also admit that you know my biggest challenge was drinking water i only have i don't drink enough water uh-huh. and uh, for me that's really really a big challenge and uh-huh. I, you know mg came up with this uh, you know water war as we call it you know he yeah. went and bought two jugs and he wrote b in one and mg in one and he said okay i fill it up now you know he would say i have drunk more than you and then i said no 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 i ha- i can't do this i have to catch up <laughs> that is that is the way i managed my water drinking you know thanks to mg really actually what happened was you also drank from my bottle so which made me better looking than you because <laughs> you actually drank 2.2 i drank 1.8 but i <laughs> <laughs> you still did your quote absolutely so what i understand mg and gauri because you joined together you also had that uh, you know you also had that fun uh, in this entire journey going after each other that healthy competition and the camaraderie uh, yeah, to go through really one small thing sorry to interrupt when we were in usa we were do- four of us we used to do exercises today in a, in a space of 2 hours like somebody is occupying the basement oh, in chicago exercising and uh, right. my grandson also joined he also used to exercise and it was fun like hey who is going to do the workout hey, are you going down or am i going down and yeah, i'll go from 5 to 6 or you go from 4 to 5 that kind of thing you know? and what we used to do is uh, because you know it was so cold there and uh, we couldn't go out so the walking running days instead of tabata we used to do lesley walk Uh-huh. I remember my grandson. You know, the moment he hears that, he'll come running down the steps and say, "Party, are you doing uh, exercise, lady?" I <laughs> <laughs> got it. Are you walking with exercise, lady? And he would also want to come and join us. You know. Wow! Wow! Uh-huh. Amazing. See, you have, you have, you know, the the beauty is both of you bonded over exercising yeah. and yeah. health and water and everything. Mm-hmm. and then you brought in the rest of the family as well now you are inspire you are influencing and inspiring your grandkids as well towards a healthy life so that is amazing that is amazing and as is you know there is not a whole lot of um, awareness i would say the awareness is there but the infrastructure in india is not there where people celebrate being fed people celebrate being healthy um, yeah. and you are setting uh, the right uh, you know direction for your uh, grandchild but again go well, mg and gauri you brought, you know with you you were able to influence a lot of your other family members also tell us a little oh, yeah, bit yeah. about that yes yes go oh, that was see, to be honest with you it was not difficult uh uh-huh. because after because of covid many people didn't see each other right uh-huh. all the time and suddenly somebody comes or you see each other on the video he what happened to both of you what happened to the rest of you uh, somebody used to <laughs> 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 And then you know invariably the next 15 minutes will be conversation about uh, the program the, the navite program and then the exercises uh, we used to show them the mobile phone before you can say jack robinson they will say okay please connect me to uma give me her number or give me mobile number whatever it is this is as far as family members go i remember i went to this particular shop where yeah. i used to buy some stuff for the house the puja stuff and all that indranagar and indranagar and the, and there was this uh, the owner's son who used to also man the shop in tipasandra in tipasandra he suddenly saw me of course there was a mask and he couldn't recognize me and he heard me talking he he recognized me by my voice and then he comes running and say auntie i couldn't recognize you at all this is the best part no he said auntie 
I thought you were some college student who had come, you know. Wow. And after hearing your voice, I said, oh my God, this is auntie. I said, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And, yeah, out of the blue, he said, no, I also want to reduce. I put on a lot of weight. I got recently married and whatnot. And then he took the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and then he took the, you know, took the details and I think he connected with you and he was yes. also awesome. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, that is the greatest uh, compliment we can get at any age, right? When we reduce our age, you know, we yes. are not known as aunties anymore and uncles anymore. And people are looking at us as grandchildren. Thank you so much for sharing that, Gauri. Thank you so much. And Gauri, you know, other than, so weight was just one part of it. What other areas of life? Yeah. Uh, no problem. Yeah. What other right. areas of life do you think uh, got impacted or influenced because of uh, your health and your fitness levels? I'll go first, Gauri. Most important thing for me was this lady started sleeping better. Oh. Heard in my house, in my bedroom after 11 o'clock. He'll tell you why. Wild animals used to roam. Okay. <laughs> Roaring, grand growling. And uh, I used to have one of the loudest, wait a minute, <laughs> you, you, are, you are a little bit, but I was obviously more. <laughs> Snoring was a big problem. I'm telling you for both of us and significantly for me, the sleep apnea went out of the window. Mm. Which, was, which was really unexpected. And, it and was she used wonderful. to be actually scared that I go to, you know, I won't breathe after some time. The gap is gone out, Roma, completely gone out. And uh, I would say that's a magnificent thing. And second thing is, I won't, you won't believe it. After I crossed 40, 45, I was a sportsman earlier. I was an athlete. I used to be, uh, I used to sprint runner. I played hockey, basketball. But um, I couldn't play even jump and shoot because I had, I, around 40, 42, my, I have flat feet, flat feet. My ankle, right ankle just kaput. So every day it used to pain and my dear wife used to massage my feet every day. And a lot of other people thought that she was doing more out of love, but actually it was more because she wanted to release the pain out of me. Okay. And uh, you know, we had consulted a lot of orthopedic doctors and, and, uh, you know, and nothing came out of it. You know, they said, you just have to live with it. After a point, they said, you just have to live with flat it. Flat feet, you've got to live with it. Can you believe it? Now I do that uh, calf raise and all, right? I yes. can calf raise till cows come home. It's gone completely. Uh, earlier I couldn't lift once. Now I can do calf raise and my that pain is vanished. Wow. I don't know what wow. happened to it. Yeah. yeah. I tried even with yoga, it did not go away. I must say that. Hmm. So that is second which has happened. And of course, third is, uh, oh, I can speak on my, no, acidity is, yeah, that is beautiful. You you better say that. <laughs> you know, uh, two years before we joined uh, Navitai, it had actually become kind of a habit for us to take the, an antacid as a as a you know nightcap, literally. You know, mm -hmm. because of course, all kinds of what are the things big solution that? we used to keep? Del Jelusil or Digene, you know. Jelusil. So just as a preventive, before you know we go to bed, we'll just take a and put it down. There'll be one on my side of the bed and one on his. Right. It's not. No. It's two years we haven't touched that body. We have not gone anywhere near Jerusalem. So, I mean, you're mm -hmm. amazing. And the last one, with, before you forget, is when I, my wife, whenever we used to go to shop, for shopping, right? For uh, She never used to look at the mirrors. Okay. I, now I she never. does this. She does this, <laughs> does that, does that. I said, boss, boss, don't be so vain, okay? You know, in these... <laughs> And the stairs, there are mirrors in your, you know, in the, in the in your, uh, boutiques and dress stores and all that. So I happily look at myself and look at my, you know, stomach yes. and posture and I feel very good. So one big contribution Otherwise, is you have contributed to her vanity. <laughs> Come on, MG. <laughs> you used to be the one to tell me, Ruma, I did so many push-ups. <laughs> I, I think that's a good problem to have, Ruma. Yeah. I don't mind you know because i worked for it and you know yeah. thanks to you absolutely absolutely you worked for it and then it, it it's been uh, you know it, you put in that effort so might as well you know keep on that thing so how has been your you know the entire so you've you reached 60 by the time you know you reached your target weight and mg also and since then how has your your journey in 
you know how have you been able to maintain that so yeah. far your fitness levels your weight as well how was that journey if you can tell us a little well, most important thing is of course food mm -hmm. we are not so disciplined on water the like the baby yeah. but, but still we are drinking more water than ever before right one one and a half two liters around that we drink Uh, I slip now and then, but yeah. then I yeah. We always but we, tell that's something that, that we should back. improve upon. But diet, food, we are very see being responsible has become a habit. Hmm. Okay. Today, if we eat a lot of uh, suppose we have a dessert and we have some halwa at night. Okay. Tomorrow, I need to do something about it. I need to do exercise. Or go for go more than anything else. The next morning, we immediately stand, jump onto the weighing machine yeah. to see where we. <laughs> Of sweet affected anything, you know, or are we okay, you know? Yeah. See, I I have a conspiratory weighing machine. My daughter Arthi told me to go for an electronic weighing machine. Digital. Digital. Uh, I went and stood on it a couple of times, and it gave me one kg higher than my normal. <laughs> so I have a adjustable manual machine where I adjust the zero error. Okay, especially on Fridays before Ribi asks for weight, right? <laughs> I pat it. I just uh, make love to the weighing machine. I talk to it politely, <laughs> and then if it doesn't behave, I give him a kick also. If it doesn't weigh too high, then I don't weigh it on Friday. I I'll do something quickly on Sunday evening. Will be. <laughs> Absolutely. Just to get out of his guilt, he'll say, "You stand, you stand. Let me see where it is." And you know, for me, it'll show the same, and then he'll be heartbroken, and he'll say, "Okay, I'm not weighing myself today. I'll do it tomorrow." Right, right. No, absolutely. So you know, for some time till you reached your target, you had to, um, you had to maintain a certain kind of a regime, food regime. And after that, you were able to. What I understand from you is you were able to overall stay within a guideline. And yeah, then we eat vegetables and salad. See, salads has become a habit. Hmm. A glorious habit. Yeah. Go ahead. Then what? Uh... I remember you telling me because that was one question I had the moment we went into maintenance. I said, "Uma, how do I sustain this? Mm. Okay, all these days because whatever little I eat initially, I used to feel very guilty about eating normally, you know. Because I said, 'Oh my God, you know, I don't want even a little bit of, you know, few grains of extra rice or whatever it is to, yeah. you know, have a have a marked impact in the negative way. That is uh, right. right. So I remember you telling me, say, it's just these four things, uh, Gauri. Just remember to." The four don'ts which we had: the rice and sugar, and uh, you yeah, know, sugar. Yeah, sugar. Yeah, completely. Find out complete. which one of that. You know, phase it out. Introduce it in a phased manner, and find out which one of this is causing your weight gain. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, found out it was sugar. Huh. You know, for everything, he finds out that it's rice. If uh, I stop eating rice for two that, days, you know? right? If I'm if I cross seventy five, all I have to do is to get rid of idlis for breakfast. No rice at lunch. Cut the carbs for two days, just two days. I'm not saying you need to do it. Third day, I'm back to, and then gently go back on rice, and you you can balance it. At yes, yeah, it, 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 it does work. For him, Wonderful. it's rice, sugar. In case I have a couple of you know sweets yeah. or a couple of chocolates and things like that. And those days, I have not drunk water. Mm. Uh huh. Even I put a stop to no more sweets for the next week, and then go on to my two liters of water. And I'm no, I'm you don't to, eat sweets at all. Bro. I don't. I don't. And no. I was never much of a sweet eater anyway. Yeah. Yes. 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 No. Absolutely. No. This is a, one second, please. One second. I think I'm running low on charge. So no, this is great because uh, you know maintenance is easier once we have reached the target weight. What you are saying, you know, as long as we maintain a. guideline balance understand the moderation then it's easier during the weight loss journey you were regimental but after you reach the target it is not and maintenance is easier as and and then you continue to exercise also so it makes yeah. it so much more easy hey, you must tell learn from the experience of arti my daughter uh huh even rahul sami my son in law is suppose you feel little down today for some other reason like you got a slight headache or you're not feeling up to it some stomach pain you know just forget about everything do a workout mm trust me that is their medicine for and i have found gori it works for me too yeah, when you are not in a hot day when you feel a little listless just forget about everything put down the put on the mat put on your shoes and do an exercise absolutely absolutely and you know bit you can pick a b c normally you know you, you used to keep friday the best nowadays i don't know things have become topsy turvy so, so there there some <laughs> 
sometimes depending upon our mood you know we won't do mondays on monday we you we'll know, mix up a, that kind of you know flexibility we feel very you know you know md mentioned that word way you know now that we have reached where we are right, so we right. you know, sort of juggle this through as long as we are compliant we are fine correct correct absolutely so you think is, suppose you have to do stiff squat 15 right mm. when you go past 10 some then the listless days you will feel like saying okay boss i love Dumas not there, Ribi cannot watch. Bara kar de na, kya fark pade ga? Eleven, twelve. At twelve, you start feeling so guilty. Eight, one. Just three Lati, more. Bloody hell, no, three no, more. No. Why should I cheat? Then some more. But three more. Bloody the thirteen, fourteen, fifteen used to be terrible. But then okay, we'll swallow it. We'll swallow it. Absolutely. Those no, such great insights. Thank you so much. And I'm also the way you said. You know, I find indigestion this and that. I go work out. Everything gone. Headache gone. Everything gone. All the stress in life gone. And I'm back to, you know, being a happy self. So thank you so much for sharing that. And one last question, Gauri and MG. If there is one, all our audience are currently watching you. And for that audience, if you have one message from both of you, what would that be? one message i would say this is a very happy place to be and you know uh, happy not just because of you know you or ribi is just happy because this is a place where all of us think alike all of us have similar goals and all of us are in the same page same mm-hmm. wavelength all of us wanting the same thing so you kind of you know feel motivated even though we haven't none of us have seen each other face to face Mm-hmm. you know it keeps us this this kind this togetherness kind of keeps us motivated is what i would say i would say go for your shoes and get started right today don't waste time thinking thank you so much gauri and mg this was yes this was a very inspirational interview thank you so much for your time congratulations once more for lot of different things one is achieving your target maintaining your target and for those two wonderful grandchildren who will keep you making uh, keep you know make you feel younger and fitter every single day so congratulations for all of these achievements and for the audience i'm sure you found gauri and mg to be very inspiring i find them very inspiring they are my role models so and if you have any takeaways i would request you to write your takeaways in the comment box below because the moment you start writing they make a firm impression in your mind so if you are someone who is really committed and dedicated to make a change in yourself try this uh, small tip write down your takeaways in the comment box below and you will start seeing changes from tomorrow itself so with that thank you once again gauri and amji it was lovely talking to you may god bless you bye bye